I'm Tara from Smart Deploy, and this is Smart Tech Tips. Today, we're going to talk about BIOS. It's, it's terrifying. But uh, lucky for us, Joanne, one of our very talented technical writers, has written a beautiful article that details everything that you need to know about BIOS. So we're going to dig into it. Let's get started. All right. First thing, I don't like to mess with BIOS. I really don't. I, don't, I hate it. It's terrifying. There are three scenarios that I think can think of where I will touch the BIOS. First scenario, the computer won't stop beeping it. That's never a good sign. Second scenario, it boots up to a black screen. <laughs> That's a problem. And third scenario, you know it's broken because of the BIOS. So it's already broken. You can't break it anymore. So you may as well go forward. Under any other circumstance, do not touch it. Let's look at the article though, for real, because it, it covers it. We're going to go to our Smart Deploy website and uh, James who's also amazing. He's going to post it in the description here so you can come look at it. Um, I'm actually going to go to the very bottom. No, that's a lie. I'm lying. I'm going to go to the top and we're just going to describe it. So BIOS, Basic Input Output System, is basically a little tiny piece of software that runs on a little baby chip on the motherboard that checks in with the hardware and is like, you good? And it's like, yeah, we're good. Okay, we can boot up. That's it. It sounds small, but it's not. It's really, really important. Okay, so that's in the top of the article. Now, I'm gonna go down to the very bottom of the article because this is this is what I wanna talk about. Um, how do you know what BIOS version you're on? That's a very good question. Um, so I'm gonna show you the hard way first. So I'm gonna come down to the start menu and I'm gonna type system. And we want, because there's a million systems now, we want system information. Well, first things first, I have to actually type it correctly and I didn't do it again correctly. So let's try it. Third time's the charm. System information, that's what we want. So let's click on it. It's an app and you see all this crap, like a whole bunch of stuff comes up. But look at this, right down below, we have this handy dandy little search bar. So we're gonna use that. And if we type BIOS, it's gonna find all the BIOS. So look at that, it'll tell us everything. If we hit find next, we can find everything we always wanted to know about BIOS. So this is the hard way to find BIOS. So let's close that. Next thing in the article, what happens when your BIOS is outdated? Nothing, seriously, nothing. It could go years, nothing. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you know if your BIOS is corrupted? We talked about this already, the post errors, the black screen, um, nonstop beeping. All bad signs. So in those scenarios, yeah, you gotta do something. Or if you have a big vulnerability that is targeting that version of BIOS, okay, fine, fine, we'll update it. Let's go to the top part of the article now. And again, this is the hard way, not, not what I'm gonna recommend to you. And Joanne talks about these um, OEM updater tools, right? She goes into great detail about how you can use them and it it's hard. So I'm not gonna do it that way, uh, no. Um, and, and each of these says over and over again, make sure you're plugged into power. Don't interrupt it, bad things happen. And whatever you do, don't put a BIOS update in the hands of your end user. Uh, she, she says it perfectly. It's like handing a power drill to a 10 year old. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't so we're going to do the easy route. We're going to hop into Smart Deploy because it makes it so much easier for us. So inside of Smart Deploy, BIOS is actually contained in the platform pack. So let's look at the platform pack. So come over here to the side panel and we're just going to click on one and we're going to edit it. I want to show you where it is. And let's expand it out. Expand, expand, expand. Platform pack has a whole bunch of stuff in it from drivers to everything else you see right here. And look at that, there's BIOS. See where it is? That little tiny script. It looks small, but it's really, really important. Okay, that's where it is. 
So platform packs, I can put in my answer file, I can bake into the image, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on a per computer deployment basis and then in mass in a group. So like we talked about, if I have a vulnerability that I need to patch right away, using a dynamic group is gonna be the way to go. But let's come to computer management. And let's say we know Dustin has a vulnerability. So I'm gonna click on him. I'm gonna hit deploy drivers. Let's keep local network where it is. And here's my platform pack, okay? So we're just gonna pick one. Um, and see all my, my boxes here. I definitely don't wanna skip BIOS because I want it, but I am gonna schedule it because this is a BIOS update, right? We need everything to happen perfectly. We're gonna do it at midnight, a little after midnight. We don't want anyone to mess with it. Uh, I'm probably already going to send an email to the user saying, hey, don't touch this. It's plugged into power, don't interrupt this. And then I'm just gonna expand this warning out that says BIOS, ooh, scary, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna hit next, and this is gonna go out at 12.57 a.m. So that's an individual. Now let's say I have a group of computers that I know are gonna be affected by this vulnerability. Well, we can't have that. So now I'm gonna jump into my dynamic groups. That's these guys. I hit create. I can make a filter group or a dynamic group, uh, and we would call this vulnerable. Then over here, I'm gonna add my filter, uh, click on the column, and what do you know? There's a BIOS version. I would add my condition, contains probably, and then I would know the value that I'm looking for based on the vulnerability we're trying to remediate. But lucky for you, I've already made a group. It's over here. So here's my group. If I click right in here and I select all these computers, we're gonna follow that same work path. Local, find our platform pack, here it is. Schedule deployment. We're gonna change that to AM because again, we don't want anyone messing with it. I would hit next. Bam, done. So, so much easier. Again, whenever we're talking BIOS, we're gonna be extra, extra careful so nothing bad happens. Okay, so proceed with caution, my friends. If you mess up a BIOS upgrade, if it stops in the middle, if it gets unplugged, you're f you're gonna have a hard time. So please be careful, but go try this out, okay? And please go read Joanne's article. I'm Tara from Smart Deploy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.